Hello, everyone. My name is Jameson Young. I'm sitting here with Hello. Jameson Young. Uh, we had some other stuff uh, planned, but uh, I just read that George H.W. Uh, Bush passed away. So uh, we're going to be uh, going over this uh, article I, I found, and uh, Jameson here will be commenting, commenting on it. Uh, George H.W. Bush, the 41st president of the United States and the father of the 43rd, was a force on the international stage for decades, from his stint as an envoy to Beijing to his eight years as vice president to one term as commander-in-chief from 1989 to 1993. No president had before or ever arrived with his breadth of uh, experience, a decorated Navy pilot, successful oil executive, congressman, United Nations delegate, Republican Party chairman, envoy to Beijing, Director of Central Intelligence. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't even rec realize how long that list was. I, I would probably say he's probably about the most, uh, at least in in modern modern history, about the most experienced now, president. the Donald stint on The Apprentice beats anything H.W. ever did. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, his... Uh, his death at uh, 94 on November 30th also marked the passing of an error. The last veteran of World War II to serve as president, he was the consummate. He was a cons consummate public servant and a statesman who helped guide the nation and the world out of four decades of Cold War that had carried the threat of nuclear annihilation. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't he? Uh, I believe he's the last president to ever serve. Yeah, in unless the military you count since uh, him, isn't W. Bush's 18. Uh, yeah, uh, true. Air National Guard experience, where he was UA for 18 months. Other than that, you have Dole and John Kerry and John McCain, who were all decorated veterans. Then there's the Donald. Donald, the Donald Trump never served. No, no. Let's let's not forget his personal Vietnam in the <laughs> '70s, where he was trying to avoid STDs. <laughs> okay, moving on. Although Mr. B Bush served as president nearly three decades ago, his values and ethics seem centuries removed from today's politic political cult culture. His currency of personal connections was a handwritten letter, not a social media blast. When the word moderation, this is what he was he wrote one time, when the word moderation becomes a dirty word, we have some soul searching to do. He wrote a friend in 1964 after a, a political loss. I've heard that saying before. Also, also his uh, famous saying, you know, read my lips, no new taxes. And it's nothing uh, like the Donald's famous saying. Don Donald Trump doesn't have any fam any famous things. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to take this serious. Anyway, his wife of 73 73 years, Barbara Bush died earlier this year in April uh, 7 on April 17th. That's a pretty good story. All, like all jokes aside, like I I know like she she, she said uh she uh she uh I think she said she kissed. She married the first guy she ever kissed, uh, and then they stayed together for seventy-three years. All so jokes aside, yeah, it's a pretty good story. Yeah, pretty good story. You don't see too many couples like that anymore. Yeah. Okay. Over the course of a single term that began on January twentieth, nineteen eighty-nine, Mr. Bush found himself at the helm of the of the world's only remaining superpower. The Berlin Wall fell. The Soviet Union ceased to exist. The communist bloc of Eastern Europe broke up. The Cold War ended. He uh, he did have several uh, of uh, military engagements that he uh, got us into. He uh, ordered the attack on Panama in 1989, and then obviously the uh, the uh, Desert Storm, which lasted about a hundred hours when Saddam invaded Kuwait, and then uh, he he put together a 30 nation coalition and pushed him out of Kuwait. So, however. However, Mr. Bush did Bush didn't decide he did he he did not decide to go into all the way to Baghdad, Iraq, setting up the worst and the most fateful decision of his son's presidency a dozen years later. Well, first of all, do you talk much? <laughs> and second of all, no, I I don't think he uh, I don't think he set his son up. I, his he, his son didn't have to push into a. Iraq, I, and as far as I know, Iraq had little to do to, with anything to do with the uh, 9/11, and obviously we all know that uh, there were no weapons of mass destruction. So I don't really think, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't think the article yeah. is right when True. they said okay, he set him up. Scroll like down. That. Okay. Anyway, 
In the wake of the 1991 victory, Mr. Bush's approvals were at 90 percent. It seemed like he was uh, seemed like he was going to definitely win a second term, but a year and a half later, his approval ratings were only at 29 percent. So he ended up being a one-term president. I've heard this before. Tell me if you think this is true. I've heard he, he, he's the best one-term president ever. Uh, is he? Uh, is he the? the best one term president i i mean it's possible like uh i think uh compared to his son he was a really great president <laughs> like i ma made mention to i i think he fought desert storm right you know he just kicks it on hussein out of kuwait and didn't actually try and go all the way to baghdad um i think he added like you know a trillion dollars onto the national debt which you know in, in comparison to the last couple few presidents that's that's like child's play so yeah i, I think he was a a pretty good president uh, best one term ever i don't know enough about the history of presidents to answer that do you want to give your your story about him <laughs> well I, I don't uh i don't know if this is true but i heard this story uh there was a pow tied down on the beach and they saw he saw his uh, uh george w george hw bush's plane go down when he was shot down in world war ii and uh he said that when uh hw bush was uh shot down uh, H.W. jumped off and started swimming away from the land out into the water because he'd rather uh, swim out to the middle of the Pacific Ocean and risk possibly drowning than get captured by the Japanese. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is true, that's pretty badass, the old, the old man. Yeah, uh, politically, whether you agree with him or not, I think he is a pretty respectable guy. He's probably, I think he's pretty much the first president I can actually remember. I mean, I remember events during the Reagan administration, but a uh, little kid, I wasn't paying attention. So, uh, yeah, I hope the best for his family and everything. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. My name's Jameson, and uh, thank you for tuning in to Self-Conflicted. Thank you. Bye.